Hepatoblastoma is a malignant tumour of liver occurring in childhood and it is the commonest malignant liver tumour in children. Having said that, the incidence is only between 1 and 1.5 and per million. 90% of hepatoblastomas occur in children under the age of 5 and the median age at diagnosis is 1 year and males are affected almost twice as frequently as females. Hepatoblastomas may be sporadic, i.e. occurring without an underlying cause, or known underlying cause. They are also associated with familial adenomatous polyposis, or FAP, and with syndromes including Beckwith, Wiedemann, Down syndrome, trisomy 18, and hemihypertrophy, and hepatoblastomas occur more frequently in children who had a low birth weight. Hepatoblastomas may present with an abdominal mass, anorexia, weight loss, sometimes vomiting, jaundice, and occasionally there may be virilization and precocious puberty as a result of HCG production by the tumour. Useful diagnostic tests for hepatoblastoma include a raised AFP in the serum, imaging such as ultrasound, CT and MRI, and biopsy. Grossly hepatoblastomas are well circumscribed rather lobulated tumours with a solid and variegated cut surface and they occur more frequently in the right lobe and the background liver is not cirrhotic and solitary tumours are more frequent than multifocal tumours. This is the gross appearance of a hepatoblastoma. It is a solid tumour, has a rather variegated appearance on cut surface, and it is quite well circumscribed, but it is also lobulated. The other thing to note is the liver adjacent to the hepatoblastoma is normal and not cirrhotic. Histologically, most hepatoblastomas are composed of immature hepatocytic cells or liver cells and the differentiation of the hepatoblastoma cells may be subdivided into fetal where they are maturing, embryonal where the hepatoblastoma cells are less mature and small cell where the hepatoblastoma cells are very primitive and undifferentiated resembling other small blue round cell tumours of childhood. Extramedullary hemopoiesis is quite common in hepatoblastomas and around a quarter of hepatoblastomas have a stromal component, typically osteoid but cartilage may also be found sometimes. Treatment of hepatoblastoma includes surgical resection, chemotherapy and sometimes liver transplant. This is a really nice example of a hepatoblastoma. There are two components. There is an epithelial component and also a mesenchymal component. Before we have a closer look at the epithelial cells, we are moving towards the pale pink area. This is an area of osteoid and that is the mesenchymal component of this particular hepatoblastoma. And this is a higher power view of the epithelial cells of this hepatoblastoma with some of the cells resembling fetal hepatocytes and others resembling rather less mature or embryonal hepatocytes. And here the hepatoblastoma is forming ducts and some rosettes.